welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy for those of you guys who are new If you guys have been watching my videos and you know me already Well, thank you so 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 much for joining me once again So I have been reading all your comments and I've been replying to you guys and I, I love all the interaction that we're having in the comment section below a lot of you guys want to know about my eyebrows if I use any potions to help them grow um, what do I do to groom them uh, brow goals all of that and it's very sweet but I'm actually just a super super hairy person like it's a blessing and then you know I have on the other end like you don't just have thick hair here it's like everywhere but it's fine I can't complain too much right so I'm actually gonna bring you guys with me to get my eyebrows done come on I've been going to Saudia at Ziva's in Glendale it's like in the Glendale Galleria Mall I literally pay like 12 bucks to get my eyebrows done it's super affordable so eyebrow threading is an ancient technique it originated in Asia and the Middle East and it's seriously my preferred choice for brow hair removal they are able to take a line of hair out all at once as well as taking one hair out at a time for preciseness. It's super super fast, each visit for me is about 3-5 to five minutes. By using a twisting motion, she is trapping the hair in a somewhat mini lasso that uplifts it right out of the follicles. It's pretty painless if your eyebrow artist knows what she's doing. So my pain threshold is pretty good. I'm not super sensitive in that aspect, but you can trust me that threading eyebrows isn't as bad as some people make it to be. She has me pull my eyelids in opposing directions. That way the skin is nice and taut. It just makes it a lot easier to pull the hair out. And then once Saudi is done removing all the unwanted hairs, she brushes my eyebrow hairs down and trims the hairs so they look even more groomed. I love that she leaves the front of my eyebrows a little more natural so I can achieve a feathery type of brow. Thank you so, much. <laughs> so this is how she did my eyebrows. She just cleans them up basically. I just tell her clean them up. I never tell her to shape them or anything like that. I just like to go with my natural shape because I think it just frames my face better. That's kind of a tip. Oh, let me zoom you guys out. I feel so weird talking to you guys up this close. Honestly, I think the way we are born, like whatever we are born with, that is kind of like what will suit us best. So if your eyebrows are a little thinner, that's probably what frames your face best. You know what I mean? You don't need to have like these huge brows. It might just take away from your natural beauty. I can totally understand if you maybe over plucked and now the hairs aren't growing back so you want to fill them in and stuff like that. I mean, I definitely fill my eyebrows in as well. Um, I have like the scars. I've mentioned them in almost all my videos as I'm doing my eyebrows. I have these scars. So usually what I use is Anastasia Brow Wiz to fill in this little gap or I use Dip Brow. I was actually at Target the other night and I picked up this e.l.f. brow pencil. Dude, this is so good and I think it's like $1.99 or $2.99. It's like less than $5. I want to say it's like $1.99 though, like two bucks. Um, and it's so good. Like here, I'm going to show you guys how I fill them in with this. So I just do light strokes to fill them in, concentrating on where the lack of hair is. And then I go into the other eyebrow just to even it out a bit or anywhere where I feel is needed. So those are my filled in brows. And then I love to use eyebrow gel. I have been using Glossier Boy Brow for a while now. It's one of my favorites, so I kind of alternate between boy brow and brow drama. If you need coarseness in your brows, I think this one is so amazing. What you can do is back comb it this way, and then you get a little more texture, and then you just then lock it into place. So the bristle is like this. It's like kind of like a little ball and you can get a lot of control with it. So I love, 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 love this. You can find it at the drugstore. So the other brow gel that I love to use is the, like I mentioned, the Boy Brow by Glossier. You can find that online. I'll leave links to everything below. So I always kind of struggled with Glossier because when I was first ordering, I'm like, oh my gosh, which one do I get? Do I get brown or do I get black? I just found it super weird that they wouldn't have a dark brown or like more shades than just I think they have blonde, brown, and black. I'm gonna show you guys the brown one on one eyebrow and then the black one on the other one because I did end up buying both. And I like them both. I don't like favor one color over the other. I don't know, I want you guys to see for yourselves in case you do wanna order them, you kinda like have an idea of what will work for you. So I'm gonna go in with the brown one on this 
eye here. So this is what it looks like. This is the brown Glossier Boy Brow on this brow. So I just like to, I love how small this little bristle is because it really gets, really lets you have control of where you want the hairs to go. So that's why I'm able to like brush them up and do the feather brow that I like. So that is brown. And then I'm gonna do black on this eyebrow. And as you guys can see, my eyebrow hairs are really, really, really dark. That's just gonna give you guys an idea of like which one to get for yourself. So that's the black one. It's a little more bold, and then that's the brown one. That's what I mean, you can't really tell a significant difference between the two colors, so I think it's fine that they don't have dark brown because both of them really work. This one you can tell just made my hairs up here a little deeper, this one not so much, so I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like I can honestly use both of them. If you guys do have lighter hair, definitely go for the brown one. If you guys have like darker eyebrow hairs and stuff, like thicker, then definitely just grab the black if you really want a bold, bold brow look. So that is how I groom my eyebrows. They're super thick. I'm so excited that they're finally done. In my last videos, you can see they're getting so out of control. So I just like them to still be thick, but just groomed. I just get them threaded and I go probably every month. Sadia always kind of like oh it's been a while since I seen you because they recommend you go every two weeks but I have just found that going once a month works for me I trust sending you guys to her if you guys have like eyebrow concerns she knows how to shape a brow to fit your face she doesn't follow like a certain trend that's in and try to make you achieve that because you know some eyebrow trends don't work for everyone so thank you so much for all the eyebrow love I know I didn't reveal any like secrets or anything like that but I hope you guys still enjoyed I definitely wanted to do this video of since so, so many of you guys were curious. So just don't get absorbed into any eyebrow trends. Definitely go with what shapes your face. I think that's when you look your best. So that's just my personal take on it. Um, I know you guys are probably rolling your eyes. It's like, yeah, this is a girl with like super thick eyebrows just because that's on trend. But girl, when I was younger, you think I was looking cute? Oh my God, like your brows. What does that facial expression mean? Like, God, I know they're thick, but... It's what I was born with, so whatever, right? This video is not sponsored or anything like that, so don't think I'm getting paid to talk about any of these products because, girl, this has been my routine for years. And, um, yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope I answered any questions that you may have had. If I left anything out or you're curious about anything else, just leave me some comments below. If you guys want to get to know me a little bit more outside of YouTube, I have all the social media. I have Facebook, I have Twitter, I have Instagram, so you guys can find. I'll leave all my little links. They're always listed below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Um, 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 um. This is the cutest shirt and you guys can't even see it. It's Mickey Mouse. I love Disneyland and I love Mickey Mouse. Let me know if you guys want to see a Disneyland day with me. I know all the secrets. Yeah.